Christmas program and that tonight you're going to hear the joy of Christmas and we're looking forward to uh, just a wonderful evening together here in the auditorium and uh, as we begin uh, before we start with a word of prayer uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce to you a special project that we're doing this time at Christmas each year Franklin Road Christian School uh, adopts a Christmas project and uh, if you were here on Tuesday night uh, you probably heard about it uh, this year, we are going to sponsor with the Bible and Literature Missionary Foundation in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and we're going to raise money to print Bibles. And so, uh, gentlemen, if you could help me that have been asked, uh, we're going to go ahead and pray. And as we pray, we're going to pray for an offering. And uh, we are going to try to raise funds each year. Uh, at the end, we have a Christmas chapel, uh, the last day of school before semester break. And uh, we're going to present a check to the Literature Foundation. And uh, we hope we can present them a great check. And so we want to invite you, if you can, great. If not, that is totally fine. Uh, we're going to be working with the kids at school as well. And uh, this is a great cause. So we're going to go ahead and start in a word of prayer. After prayer, uh, we're going to have a brass quintet playing Sleigh Ride. Let's pray. Lord, we've been blessed already being here this evening. And uh, Lord, we thank you for the talents and abilities that you've given to the students here. Uh, Lord, we thank you 
uh, for all the work that's gone in. And uh, Lord, uh, just the amazing time of the year it is to reflect on Jesus and uh, Lord, the gift that you gave to us. And Lord, I pray tonight, above all, we would glorify you in all we do. Lord, we ask you'll bless this offering. Lord, uh, we think of uh, the Bibles that will be produced and uh, Lord, the lives that will be touched. Lord, I just ask that you'll bless now. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. paper probably in there that I need. <laughs> Would you thank Mr. Griffin for directing that group? That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Every perform performer's worst nightmare is when you're relying on some sort of a script and it's not there. I want to start off by thanking you for being here on behalf of each of the directors and uh, we are certainly appreciative if anybody comes and listens. Uh, but thank you for joining us tonight at this Christmas concert. As you enjoy the performances tonight, I'd like to, to encourage you to listen for one recurring theme, and that is the theme of joy. Joy. Themes of joy in the lyrics, recognizable melodies of joy, and music filled with joyful rhythms. I think you've already heard a little bit of that so far from our instrumental uh, groups. But before we continue, I'd like to ask you a question that I'd like you to ponder throughout this evening. Why should this be a season of joy? Why? Why the joy at Christmas time? Is it the family around us? 
Is it the gifts that are exchanged? Is it the special events like this concert tonight that you have uh, chosen to attend? Is it the festive decorations or the beautiful lights that you see around you everywhere? All of those things are wonderful, and we would agree with that. But the question is, is it something more that truly, deep down inside your heart and mine, brings joy at this season?
Well, did you hear it? The sounds of joy. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. How great our joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. But remember our question. What is it that truly brings joy at this Christmas season? Those tidings of comfort and joy were not about the lights and the food and the presents, although we enjoy those. They were about the Savior who was born in a lowly stable, Jesus Christ. Why would he leave his throne in heaven to come to this sin-cursed earth? Simple. His love for each and every one of us. Each one of us that sits in this place or performs on this stage tonight, Jesus Christ came to this earth because he loves you. The joy of Christmas is all wrapped up in the love that God demonstrated when he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and to provide us free salvation. And because of his love, he provided that way to salvation and an abundant, joyful life here on this earth and then in heaven one day. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Would you make this Christmas season the most joyful ever by accepting Jesus Christ, God's love, and receiving that free gift of salvation.
young people, just long to have a grand finale. Or am I on that day that Jesus Christ was born, the angel blew at the sky. And he said, Ruth's gospel, fear not, not, but behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. The Bible teaches that God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You have to forgive me, but not only am I the pastor here, I'm a gospel preacher. And I'll tell you what, nothing is more important than for a person to hear the gospel, clear presentation of the gospel. Jesus Christ did come, and uh, he was born in a manger, God incarnate, God in the flesh. He lived 33 years, and he died on the cross for our sins. He was buried three days, and he rose again on that third day. The Bible teaches us, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I tell you what, we live in a world that we need that joy. Joy is different from happiness. You may be searching for happiness right now, and uh, we all enjoy those times that we are happy. But happiness is based on happenings the good things that happen in your life. What if there are no good things happening right now? Can you still have joy? You see, joy, Bible joy is deep-seated, as Brother Pearson mentioned just a moment ago. Bible joy occurs when that peace comes into your heart, that good tidings of great joy because of Jesus Christ. Again, to all people. We live in a world that's not very peaceful right now, and there's a lot of times we don't have a lot of joy. I spent most of my day in the hospital visiting some of our dear people. Some were very, very sick. And uh, we live in a world full of sickness, full of hate, full of war. How can you have that joy down deep in your soul? You can have that by putting Jesus Christ right there and trust him as your Savior. In just a moment, they're going to sing again. I'd like for you to bow your heads. I want to have just a moment of prayer here tonight. But I I just, I don't want you to leave without knowing you can have that joy. It's not a pipe dream. It's something that God wants all of his people, all of his creation to hear about and to accept. You may be sitting there saying, well, that's just for religious people. No, it's for every human being. And tonight, if you would take Jesus Christ as your Savior, just like you are, I promise you he'd take you as, as his child. With our heads bowed, our eyes closed, maybe many of you have already prayed and received Christ several just the other night at the elementary program uh, lifted a hand and said they were receiving Christ as their Savior and tonight I want to help you do that if you'll believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross and was buried three days and rose again on that third day that's the gospel the death burial and resurrection if you believe that and pray and call on his name tonight you can be saved I want to pray what we call the sinner's prayer down through time people have prayed this prayer or something like this prayer to receive christ as their savior and if you've never trusted christ i want to help you do that right now with our heads bowed our eyes closed would you genuinely pray this prayer with me if you're not sure that heaven's your home it goes like this i want you to repeat it with me and pray it and mean it in your heart here it is lord jesus i realize i'm a savior And I realize you, I realize I'm a sinner and I realize you died for my sins. And I ask you, Lord, as a sinner, that you come into my heart and save me tonight. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried for three days. And I believe you rose again on that third day. And I believe you're alive right now. Lord, I ask you to forgive me my sins. And to come into my heart and make me a Christian. I want to pray that one more time. And I want you to hear it. And I want you to repeat that if you've never done that. And mean it in your own words. Lord Jesus, I realize I'm a sinner. I believe you died for my sins on the cross. I believe that you were buried for three days. And I believe you rose again on that third. Lord, I ask you to forgive me my sins come into my life and make me a Christian tonight with their heads bowed or eyes closed you prayed that prayer and you meant that I'm going to close in a word of prayer we're going to have a grand finale but maybe tonight you pray that and you wanted to trust Christ your Savior you want to be a Christian tonight you want that joy in your heart 
You prayed that. You meant that. Would you lift your hand? Just let me see your hand. I prayed that. I meant that tonight. I wanted to be a born again Christian. Just right up, right back down. God bless you tonight. Thank you. Father, we're so grateful for what we've heard tonight. What a blessing it was to see the talent of our young people. We just sat back and, and we just in, in awe of what these young people were able to put together with the help of their instructors. And I pray you'll bless this final number and bless our school and give us a wonderful Christmas season, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Let's hear from our young people.
the students here at school and want to thank you for the opportunity you've given uh, here at Franklin Road Christian School for us to assist you uh, as you train your child. And uh, we are overwhelmed with just joy here this evening. Uh, as you leave, just a couple things to help you. Uh, our cheerleaders, they do have uh, some baked goods. Everyone does need a snack. It's just right at 8 o'clock, so uh, help yourself. Uh, it is in the lobby there. There's some hot chocolate out there as well. Uh, also, as you go out, if you've not picked up, we do have a gift for every school family. Uh, you'll see Miss Stefan and uh, Mrs. Anderson in the mirror lobby there. Uh, if you would pick up your gift there, that would be great. Uh, feel free to take some pictures, wonderful decorations in here, but uh, we have had a great evening. Want to congratulate again the students, our instructors. Let's give them one good hand. I do want to say Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming this evening. You are dismissed.
of God. 